One of the things Elite Dangerous is known for is the plethora of third party applications and utilities produced to help navigate what is undoubtedly a complex and sometimes daunting video game. In this video we're going to list some of those web tools and go to applications and whilst it's far from an exhaustive list you should find there's something here for new and experienced pilots alike. To make sure you don't miss any of our videos hit like and subscribe and remember to click the little bell icon and select all notifications. And if you'd like to help directly support this channel you can also join our Patreon via the link in the video description. Before we get started you'll find links to all the applications and web tools we're talking about in the description below and this video is broken up into chapters if you're looking for a tool that specifically serves what you're interested in. Right out of the gate then let's talk essentials. A lot of the tools and websites we'll talk about today use crowdsourced information such as commodity prices at the various stations and starports or changes in the social political backdrop of the game from the community itself as well as data on your commanders location in the galaxy. For grabbing that information and uploading it we use Elite Dangerous Market Connector. EDMC sits discreetly on your PC and harvests data from your journal files and from exposed data in the game as you play and uploads it to the Elite Dangerous data network where it's presented in a format that can be used by third party applications. When you're running EDMC and jumping from star to star or station to station you're helping the greater Elite Dangerous community keep tabs on what the galaxy is doing. If you're looking to quickly access information on a system, commodity, station or planet then you'd be hard pushed to find a better site than EDDB. Select a category from the front page, punch in the information for the various filters the site offers and then marvel at the clearly presented information dump before you. It'll even plan a profitable trade route for you based on some simple criteria. For even more information and granularity then look at Inara. The sheer volume of data on Inara over and above that which is presented in a similar vein to EDDB is simply mind bending. You can drill down into an individual commanders fleet of ships, see how community goals are progressing, look back over published Galnet news articles or check on the status of Thargoid incursions. The list of options is endless. If you've ever googled anything to do with Elite Dangerous then the chances are one of the links presented to you would have led to the Elite Dangerous wiki. The ED wiki is the encyclopedia of all things in and around the universe of Elite Dangerous. You'll find answers there on lore, ships, weapons, characters, development of the game, expansion releases and patches and much much more. When it comes to infiltrating or raiding settlements in the on foot portions of Elite Dangerous Odyssey then there is no greater utility than Commander Quiz Engines Odyssey Map Guide or OMG as it's known. The guide presents an easily accessed visual reference for all known settlement layouts and provides tips on accessing the alarm systems and other useful consoles and data access points as well as first hand tips on how to complete missions at those settlements specifically. It is the absolutely essential guide for Odyssey settlement raiding. One of the more complex aspects of starship gameplay in Elite Dangerous is the outfitting and engineering of a vessel. Before you spend your hard earned credits and materials on buying and engineering a new ship full of modules then you'd be mad to not run it through one of Elite's ship builder websites first. The two main contenders in the field are Coriolis.io and ED Shipyard. Both allow you to build a ship, fit it out, engineer it and then see in raw numbers just what will work and what won't. They'll even link you to an EDDB page directing you to a single starport where you can buy that whole ship and outfit it. Navigation and exploration is one of the best served categories for tools in the Elite Universe and with the game featuring a 1 to 1 scale recreation of the entire galaxy that shouldn't really be a surprise to anyone. The Elite Dangerous star map is exactly what it sounds like, a web based map of the galaxy. Drill down into any system and see exactly what's there but alongside that EDSM is also the community's main repository and staging post for expeditions. 
If you've ever signed up to one of Elite's many expeditions then the chances are it was through EDSM and if you're looking for an expedition to join then there's no easier way to browse the expeditions that are forming up and find one that suits you. It also contains a version of the codex found in the game and features a route planner, system traffic reports and other tools. Most players will probably know Spanch as the essential fleet carrier route planner and that is rightfully one of the things it's best known for but what you might not already know is that Spanch also contains a number of other route planners that can help guide the more regular variety of Elite Dangerous ship. The route planning specialist site contains planners for neutron stars, ammonia worlds, earth like worlds, trade, tourism or even exobiology. Also whilst there be sure to look at the powerful and very configurable search functions on the site. ED Discovery is an incredibly deep companion application to Elite's gameplay that gives you complete access to the journal files that Elite writes to your PC, tracking almost every single action or event in the game as you play. It contains over 50 panels of available information that cover all aspects of Elite's gameplay from trading, combat, mining, exploration, on foot gameplay and engineering. It's incredibly useful for tracking where you've been, what you've done and what crossed your path while you were there. ED Observatory is a fantastic little application with a very definite bias towards exploration. It monitors your journal files and highlights any number of configurable points of interest if your ship detects them. Amongst the things the application can detect and highlight are close orbiting planets, high eccentricity orbits, fast orbits, unusually wide planetary rings, colliding binary pairs and much much more. Your points of interest are then highlighted upon detection with a pop up or even speech. ED Astrometrics is a website that contains a number of maps, charts and graphs breaking down a myriad of harvested ED data including carrier movement, fuel rat and hull seal rescues, nebula, DSSA carrier locations, stellar body age and mass distribution to name but a few. The site now also houses the newly formed Galactic Exploration Catalog, a player created and maintained searchable library of notable points of interest and features throughout the galaxy. Now a couple of very useful general reference charts. First the How Much Is It Worth Explorers chart, a wall poster style image by Commander Fru that shows the exploration scan values of various stellar and planetary objects in the game with values depending on what level of scan you perform. Next the full spectrum system scanner analysis diagram showing what the various signals and iconology on the FSS scanner actually mean and where to look on the spectrum to find what you're looking for. A completely invaluable tool for all explorers. If you're engineering ship modules or on foot equipment in Elite Dangerous these days then the Odyssey Material Helper application has you covered for unlocking engineers, what upgrades and mods are available to you, shopping lists of mats, intel on where to find the mats, what mats are worth having and what mats to just dump and what mats you actually have and in what quantities. It's bonkers. I couldn't and wouldn't engineer in Horizons or Odyssey without it. I mentioned this wasn't an exhaustive list. The sheer quantity of ED applications ensures it can't be and so here's a quick rundown of some other sites and applications worthy of note. ED Profiler if you want to change the colour of your HUD elements on PC. Commander's Toolbox, a material finder, shield tester, waypoint planner amongst other things all in one place. The Miner's Tool, put in your current system and it'll tell you where to mine and sell valuable minerals such as painite, platinum and void opals etc. The Elite BGS Web App, a powerful website that helps BGS managers track and monitor the influence, breadth and depth of any faction in the game and the AXI website. If you want to learn to hunt and fight Thargoids there is no finer resource for expertise, tutorials and ship builds. 
Did we cover your favourite ED tool or website? Share with your fellow commanders anything we missed that the galaxy absolutely needs to know about in the comments below. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video consider subscribing to the channel and maybe take a look at one of our other videos linked on screen right now.